Grody now took me to some of the major fallen angels under the sea to greet them. He took me around and showed me the um, Jezebel. He also present, uh, showed me, I went to greet Jezebel. Then after that, I went to greet Asimodi. I went to greet the fallen angel called Pestel. I went to greet the fallen angel called Abaddon. I went to greet Baal, Marin, Ashtaroth, Magog, Gog, and Napoleon. And each one of these fallen angels have almost 500,000 agents who are working under them. So each one of them, Jezebel has 500,000 agents working under her. Asimodi has 500,000 agents working under him. Pestel has 500,000 angels uh, agents working under him. Abaddon, Baal, Marine, Ashtaroth, Magog, Gog, Apollyon. They all have 500,000 agents working under them on the face on the planet. I'm about to talk to you about the fallen angel called Apollyon. The fallen angel called Apollyon. Apollyon is the fallen angel or spirit being or demon who is majorly responsible for division. He is responsible for division and misunderstanding, discord, disharmony, disunity, separation, and divorce. Whenever we talk about Apollyon, his main function is division. He, de he, he doesn't like unity and love and oneness of mind. Whenever he comes in, he brings division, confusion, discord, separation, and this, this harmony. Apollyon is the fallen angel responsible for this unity. He is usually working or he usually works against pastors. He's the major principality or major fallen angel who is always creating conflict between pastors. He specializes or he spends most of his focus on attacking pastors. He's always trying to cause division between pastors. He doesn't want pastors to work together because he knows that unity is strength. And once pastors come together to work, great deal of breakthroughs will come in the kingdom of God. So he's always causing division between pastors. That is why sometimes one pastor will say, I preach better than this pastor. I'm anointed than this pastor. My doctrine is better than this. Ad, the others, we have the right doctrine. We have the right church. Uh, we are the most anointed ones. You no, know, he is always causing conflict and cause creating things to bring division between the men of God. One man of God will say, "My church is the biggest." Another will say that I have the largest congregation. Another will say that my preaching is the best. Another will say that I'm very anointed. Another will say that I believe in miracles. Another will say that I don't believe in the Holy Ghost. And then by the time you realize there's division between the men of God and they're unable to work together. The spirit behind this confusion, division, disharmony, discord, misunderstanding is Apollyon. The fallen angel called Apollyon. Apollyon is also the spirit that brings division between husbands and wife. Whenever Apollyon manifests in a marriage, he is bringing confusion, misunderstanding, and discord between husbands and wife. That leads to divorce and separation. Apollyon brings division between husbands and wife. He is the spirit behind argumentativeness, argument, argument. Every time you see people arguing, husband and wife arguing, people arguing, Lack of communication, discord, misunderstanding, se divorce, separation. Apollyon is at work. Apollyon is also the spirit who uh, affects or begins to use women to gossip to bring division. There are women who are always gossiping about one another or people who are gossiping about their neighbors, their friends, their relatives, their church members, their other fellow believers. 
and this gossip bring about division it is the demon apollyon who has already who is working on them who has um, who has infected them and is using them to gossip in order to bring division between people so if you're a gossiper the demon working in you is apollyon apollyon also is the demon that causes children to begin to start stealing in their young age when this demon affects your children you realize that they start stealing when they are young apollyon is the de demon that affects lawyers this demon aff uh, affects lawyers possess lawyers and causes them to lie and in order to win court cases when i w when i was under the marine kingdom i saw a lot of lawyers in the marine kingdom they come in for powers in order to lie to win cases apollyon is also the demon that causes christians to be lazy when you are spiritually lazy it's apollyon he causes body pains so much that you can't even wake up you feel pain you feel fatigue you feel weak unable to pray apollyon is the demon uh, fallen angel at work in your life he causes you to be spiritually lazy unable to pray unable to read the bible he also causes sleepless sleep sleep sleeping when you ever you are always sleeping whenever you go to church whenever the sermon is going on you are sleeping whenever you want to read the bible you feel sleepy it's Apollyon. He comes with his angels and they begin to blow fan on people in the church. So as the sermon is going on, you see people dozing off. Apollyon has possessed or is working on them. Apollyon is the principality or the fallen angel that also steals the word of God from people. When the word of God is preached, before you leave the church room, you realize that you have even forgotten what the pastor preached or the word of God which was shared shared in the church apollyon has stolen the word so that you can't use it apollyon also causes fatigue and body pain and causes people not to be able to pray causes argument division apollyon is also responsible for pride so whenever you are, you encounter sleeping in church dozing off in church if you are constantly dozing off when you are in church when the someone is going on dozing off reading the bible or doing any spiritual activity to enhance your spiritual growth the dim the principality apollyon is working on you if you are a gossiper if you are a gossiper and always talking about people apollyon is using you if your children have started stealing apollyon is using them if you have the spirit of pride apollyon is using you the spirit of division and argumentativeness, discord, disharmony, disunity, conflict, uh, strife between people. Apollyon is at work. So if you have any of, if you experienced any of these traits, remember you are dealing with Apollyon, the fallen angel. Um, so this is what she says about uh, the job description or the functions of the demon apollyon now this is brother k this is how you pray if you have any of these traits going on in your life you need to begin to exercise authority in the name of jesus christ and bind that spirit of apollyon from destroying your marriage from destroying your ministry from destroying your life for instance if your children are already stealing you are going to say this when you are praying father in the name of jesus christ I take authority and I bind the demon Apollyon. In Jesus' name, I bind you, Apollyon. I lose my children from your grips and from your claws, and I cast you out from their lives from today. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not have my child. You will not steal again. In Jesus' name, I bind you, spirit, of, you demon of Apollyon. I bind you, principality of Apollyon. I bind your spirit from operating in my son's life. I cast you out of his life in Jesus' name. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. And with the spirit of gossip, you demon of Apollyon, causing the spirit of gossip to manifest in my life, I cast you out, I bind you and cast you out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You demon of Apollyon causing division, causing strife, causing argument, causing separation and divorce in my marriage, causing misunderstanding in my marriage. I bind you and cast you out in Jesus' name. I rebuke you by the blood. I rebuke you by the blood. I come against you by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against you by the blood. Apollyon, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. I cast you out 
go in Jesus name I come against I approach your seed of division I approach your seed of strife I approach your seed of disharmony I approach your seed of discord I approach your seed of division separation divorce from my marriage I cast you I approve them out and cast them out of my marriage in the name of Jesus Christ I approach you in Jesus name you spirit of Apollyon you will not have your way in my marriage in Jesus name there shall be no divorce there shall be no separation there shall be no disunity and discord in this marriage in Jesus name I bind you demon of Apollyon and cast you out in Jesus name use you spirit of Apollyon coming against my body with pains and weakness I command you loose me and let me go I release myself from your claws and from your stronghold I release myself I'll be able to hear the word of God I'll be able to pray I'll be able to be fervent in the spirit in Jesus name I release myself from your claws I rebuke you by the blood in Jesus name I cut you off your hold over my life in Jesus name this is how you pray in the name of Jesus Christ and take authority against the principality of fallen angel called Apollyon for more prayers join us on our prayer line on Tuesdays and on Fridays on Tuesdays we meet to pray and to deal with these principalities and demonic spirit from we we meet in the evening every Tuesday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. we fast and then in the evening we meet at 10 p.m. Eastern time to pray and on Friday too we fast from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and then when we meet in the evening at 11 p.m. Eastern time we pray to come against this principalities power strong dominions and witchcraft spirits from manifesting in our lives and the number to call if you need prayers in dealing with these strongholds strong men witchcraft and demonic spirits is 559-726-1200 559-726-1200 and the access number is 950014 pound 950014 pound join us on tuesdays and fridays for a very hot intensive warfare against these demons and release your marriage release your health release your children from the grips of apollyon the demon that causes sleepiness people sleeping in church dozing off in church gossip children stealing pride division argument and discord and confusion deal with the demon of apollyon and have your liberty in the name of our lord jesus christ god bless you